Godzilla vs. Kong Stomp past $390 million at the global box office to become the top grossing Hollywood movie of the pandemic. And it does deserve the reception it's getting, because it was nothing short of epic. Much of the credit goes to the pure monster mayhem and the colossal UFC match action between our very own Papa Goji and the number one contender, Kong. But the hype is mostly thanks to the strongest titan that the MonsterVerse has ever produced, the menacing, the destructive Mecha Godzilla. It's a monster that's entirely a class apart from the two alphas. You could even say an abomination of sorts. One who made a drastic impact on the entire timeline of monsters in the MonsterVerse. If I had to be really honest, in a different universe, Mecha Godzilla would have absolutely massacred both Godzilla and Kong without even breaking a sweat. It's just how overpowered the Mecha G is, and it's really hard to imagine if Legendary can produce any other Titan that even comes close to it. But there's still one potential Titan that comes to mind. One who's not graced the screens of the MonsterVerse yet. Yeah, I'm talking about another Mecha. The one and only Mecha King Ghidorah. So, on that note, welcome back to Fact Hollow. And today, let's find out what exactly might happen if Mecha Godzilla was replaced by Mecha King Ghidorah in Godzilla vs. Kong. Now, first things first, let's take a history lesson about the Mecha Monster Zero, shall we? So, in 60 years of Godzilla history, Mecha King Ghidorah has only appeared once in the 1991 Toho film Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah. An interesting feature about this monster that really stands out for me has got to be the fact that Mecha King Ghidorah is not really a fully mechanical robot, but rather a cyborg, which in turn makes it a very different monster altogether from Mecha Godzilla. I mean, honestly, they're nothing alike. Another crazy thing about the cyborg Ghidorah is his hero status or you could say his role as the protagonist, which is unlike our overpowered 2021 Mecha G. So it was probably why the folks at Legendary didn't choose the Mecha Ghidorah as the enemy and went for the more conventional villain in the Mecha G. Had they decided to go with the Cyborg, then it's hard to imagine what kind of role he'd get, because the big G of the MonsterVerse has always been the protagonist, still is, probably continue to be. On that note, I'd like to request all of you who are with me in wanting the continuity of the MonsterVerse to go and comment hashtag continue the MonsterVerse so that the people back at Legendary take notice. I mean, they should know that there are so many loyal MonsterVerse fans out there all around the world, right? Coming back to King Ghidorah, or rather Mecha King Ghidorah, the very existence of the remaining skull of the one who is many and the presence of a technologically advanced company like Apex ticks all the boxes for the creation of that monstrosity. King Ghidorah in itself was already an insanely powerful titan, and if a mechanized or rather a cyborg version of the monster was to be introduced to the MonsterVerse, it could very well go down to be the most powerful titan in existence, perhaps even more powerful than the Mecha G we saw this year. You see, Kong and Godzilla were already having a hard time just trying to keep up against Mechagodzilla. So if they were to face the cyborg Monster Zero, then it could very well be game over for both the Alphas. I know, crazy. But that's how insanely powerful the Mechas are. Still can't digest it? Well, let me run down what the Mecha King Ghidorah packs in its arsenal of abilities. All right, can't you be blown away here? Anti-gravity flight. Gravity Beams and Laser Beam, Electrified Bite, Godzilla Capture Devices and Machine Hand, Time Warp, Tasers, Energy Shield, and Invincibility. Man, this bad boy is one super strong titan, one that carries enough power to take down even two alphas in one go. So thanks to MonsterVerse for not introducing this monstrosity this time around, else the King of the Monsters and our Hollow Earth Alpha would have been wiped off the face of the Earth and that's something that we clearly wouldn't want to see, right? Also, the King of the Monsters would probably need to bring the entire gang to defeat the Cyborg and maybe that's what we'll see in future films? Well, at least we can be optimistic about it, so fingers crossed. I don't know if anyone gave any thought to it, but there's also the fact that Alan Jonah was totally out of the picture in this year's showdown. 
so it's very possible that something interesting must be cooking in the background. To make it pretty clear, Mecha King Ghidorah replacing Mecha Godzilla would probably have brought the end for both our alphas, Kong and Godzilla, and the world would have fallen into the hands of Apex and the subsequent Mecha Cyborg Titans, or just Mecha King Ghidorah. Either way, it would have brought about a doomsday scenario and a very bitter end to Godzilla vs Kong, and maybe the future of the MonsterVerse as well. Now, Having said that, everything we say isn't something that's etched in stone, but rather our opinion, and a possible scenario that we ended up with after our research and deductions. It's also entirely possible for the cyborg Monster Zero to meet the same fate as Mecha G2, given the unpredictabilities and the plot lines of legendary pictures. I mean, Upegza alcohol, again, is probably going to end up being the main weapon of choice instead of the overly hyped axe weapon. I don't know, but it's possible. Nevertheless, before we wrap this up, I'll say this, that the Mecha King Ghidorah is one crazy powerful titan, and now that Mecha Godzilla is gone, it's probably the Cyborg Monster Zero's time to go on Carnage mode with Alan Jonah pulling the strings in the background. I mean, the combination sounds like a match straight out of hell, so we'll be in for some sweet, sweet action. Well, at least I hope so. So with that, we come to the end of this video. I hope all of you watching can make sense out of it, and please do let us know if you have your own personal theories. Thanks for watching, and you can check out our other videos too if you're into these kind of topics. Well, you wouldn't be watching till the end if you weren't, so we'll see you there.